What's up everyone? Welcome back to Bucks Backwoods. Um, so like I said last week, we're kind of transitioning between fishing and hunting season and I need to start prepping for that. So uh, archery season is at the end of August? No, maybe sub September. One of those two. It's uh, it's coming up real quick. Actually, yeah, it's the end of September here in Pennsylvania. Um, but it's coming up real quick and uh, I need to get the bow out and get it shot in. So today I have a few things I got to take care of. I got to go get my hair cut and uh, a few other things. I got to go get some new arrows and some new field tips because I can't seem to find mine anywhere from last year. So um, yeah, so I got to go do that stuff. I'm going to take you guys in with me into Gander. That way I can kind of show you the process of... Uh, you know buying new arrows for your bow if you're if you're not too familiar with archery uh, if you're just trying to get into it just some basic things that you need to know going into it so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this fast forward button I'm gonna go get my hair cut and take care of a few other things and I'll see you guys at Gander bye so what's up everybody so you know got a nice fresh cut good to go uh, I decided to get a dick sporting good instead of gander just because uh, gander's a little bit further away from me and Dix has a little bit better selection than what our local gander has so I'm gonna walk in here and find some arrows and then get them a cut so see you guys back in the back where are all the Guggen baits they're gone must be hiding them from us. Oh, there they are. Found them. Phew. That was a close one, guys. Thought they did away with them. Oh, they got the lunker logs. So, they've got the new lunker logs and the, uh, the TRDs. So, or the, the Rattlin Nids. I've yet to try either of those, but uh, they look pretty good. And some of the results I've seen have been pretty decent from them so far. So, a couple things that I need to get for archery, since we're going to get back on that subject. I need to get some new broadheads. Uh, I'm probably going to go with the hypodermics, most likely. <coughs> yeah, most likely that's what I'm going to go with, is the hypodermics. And then, I need to get some new arrows, which are over here on the other side. Some new field tips. and some new arrows. I uh, kind of wanted to go with a brighter color arrow just because last year I had a black black arrows and they just didn't stand out very well. So, let's see here. So I've got my arrows, got my luminox, got my field tips. I just need to get in touch with somebody that works back here and get the uh, get them cut down for me. So I'm gonna get on that, and I'll see you guys. In so what's up, guys? Finally got back from uh, Dick's. I had to take care of a few things. I bought a new tree stand and uh, got that set out so it can air out, and uh, I could learn how to put everything together and use it properly. I got my arrows cut. I ended up going with the uh, the Carbon Express 350 grain hard attacks um, with nocturnal light up knocks, uh, and then I'm using 100 grain field tips by 
uh, Dead Ringer. Uh, pretty good company. They make like rifle sights and pistol sights, shotgun sights, all kinds of different things. And I think they've just gotten into like the broadheads and bow sights and things like that also. So, uh, goal for tonight is to sight in my compound bow that I'm going to be using this season. Uh, the bow that I'm using is a Bear Archery Ascension. Uh, it's set at 70 pounds uh, for the pull weight and my my draw is 29 inches so these arrows here are cut at I believe 28 and a half um, that sounds about right so at 29 inches I'm shooting 450 grains at 20 yards to shoot these in and then once I'm shot in at 20 yards then within the next week or two I'm gonna come out I'll shoot in at my 30 my 40 50 yards and uh, that'll pretty much That'll be about as far of a shot as I'm going to need to reach out and make during this season. So, um, a little bit about the bow. The bow is completely set up um, the way that it was when I bought it from the store. Uh, as far as sights, the whisker biscuit, the quiver. The only thing I changed was the, the wristband and the stabilizer. Um, peep sights all came from the store and everything I just bought this bow last year so didn't really put too much into it after I bought it just because archery season was coming to an end uh, yeah so I just want to make sure that I'm basically where I was last year when I shot in my my bow so we're gonna go ahead and put three rounds on the on the target um, my goal is to not set them on top of each other because I'm shooting a bow not a rifle so I don't want to know that I'm consistently putting them in the same spot, but what I am going to do, because as you can see down there, there's like a honeycomb of targets. There's like a honeycomb of targets down there. I want to be able to put an arrow in each one of those targets. That way I'm not busting my knocks up. So I'm going to go down here and turn this target on, and then I'm going to throw three arrows down, down range. Schlock them. A couple beginner tips. For, uh, for you guys that haven't really gotten into archery. When you're getting ready to hold the bow, a lot of times guys will have a death grip on, on their grip. And what that's going to do is that's going to cant their forearm into the string, um, which is going to do two things that are highly negative. You're going to end up with a huge bruise on your, your inner forearm that isn't going to go away for a few days. And then second, that string's going to hit your arm, which is going to throw your arrow in different directions. So you need to get in the habit of creating space between your hand and the grip. Uh, a lot of guys hold it with, you know, just two, two or three fingers, and then they tuck their fingers in behind the grip here, which is what I do. <clears throat> um, also, guys, just get in the habit of just creating that space without having anything in between. So that's, that's tip number one. Tip number two, you want to have a good release, something that's not going to give way on you as you're drawing that bow back. Uh, you want it to be locked in place and not come unlocked until you're ready for that arrow to fly. So like I said, I'm going to put three arrows on target right now. I'm going to go from upper left to upper right in those orange uh, hexagons there. You always want to make sure you have a nice square stance. And that'll keep your body in line with the bow. That way when on on release you're not canting that at all. It's almost like a follow through.
So these are the three that I was aiming for. Um, these, the first one and the last one seem about accurate. I, I believe I pulled this second one a little bit to the left, but I, as you can see on the target, I'm left center and a little bit low. So what I need to do is make small adjustments to my whisker biscuit to try and straighten that out. Um, I've got some cant here. If, if you were to look at this target straight on, you would see that these arrows aren't going straight into the target. They're actually angled slightly to the left. So I need to straighten those out some. And I think, I think, the, I think moving the whisker biscuit first. Right. And then you go from there. So on any standard whisker biscuit or even your your front sight, your pin sights, you're going to have adjustments on them left and right, up and down. Um, so the adjustment that we need to make would be left is right, right is left. So I'm to the left, I need to move this whisker biscuit slightly to the right. So you'll see that there's uh, Allen keys on these, on both that and the, the sights, to help you adjust that left, right, up, down, however you have to adjust the the sight. So we're going to go ahead and make a slight adjustment. Uh, we're about, what do you say, three inches? We were three inches left, I, I said. I, well, it's, it's so much the cant, so what I want to do is... It's Straighten just, that arrow yeah, out. Yeah, you move that whisker biscuit about an eighth of an inch. Right. Shoot one arrow, and uh, we'll see see how that does, and then I think you'll need to adjust your pins. Right. I just want to get the arrow, you know, penetrating straight. And a good, a good, you want good straight penetration because you got to remember if you're shooting deer, you know, you're going to have bone deflection. You don't want that arrow already deflected. Right. Uh, you you know, want it to travel through whatever organ it's going it, exactly. through, rather than hitting. Hitting a bone already deflected to the right and then darting through, you know, a, yeah. an intestine or something like that, um, which is never a good... You want this thing to be as lethal as it possibly can be. Right. Never a good thing. So we've made a, a slight adjustment. I made about an eighth of an inch adjustment in the whisker biscuit, and we'll see where that puts us in relation to those... What are you doing with that? I'm just going to turn the knock off. Actually, I'm going to cut the plate. Just leave it. Just leave it. You better fucking not. Just leave it on for now. Oops. See, damn it. <laughs> Just leave it on for now. I'm getting ready to shoot it again. Yeah. Oh, Jesus there we go. Well, that's not even close to what I was aiming at, so. What? Where were you? <laughs> that left fucking hexagon. You You were eight, You were going for the left hexagon? The top left hexagon. Yeah. Okay. That's what you go, go back to that. Go back to that same left top hexagon. All right. See? What, what were you doing with the knock there in relation to I was, correlation? So, Dad was messing around with the arrow and pulled the knock out of it. And when he put it back in, he didn't put it back in straight. So you'll see here on the arrow you have two semi-colored, or Your similar fletching. colored fletching, and then one off-color. Uh, that off-color is always going to face out away from the interior of the bow. So what I was doing with the knock is straightening it back out so that that lines up the way that it's supposed to. Jesus.
So this is the last round. My battery is getting ready to die. Um, we're fairly sure we got it where we need to get it. Keep your anchor points the same. Yep, you always want to bring that kisser button to the same exact spot. If you rest your your nose to your lip on the string, you always want to have that rested on the same spot. Always keep that same exact sight, sight picture every single time. Don't give it the death grip. No. So, as you can see, we've pretty much got our group down. Um, we're going to fine tune that closer to the season. I just wanted to make sure that I was in a steady group. Um, so that's basically, you know, how you, how you get your bow to where you're, you're landing in a nice tight group. Uh, like I said before, you want to try to aim for different targets. That way you're not busting your knocks off. But we were kind of all over the place, so I wanted to consolidate and move back into just that one that one spot. So, yeah. So just small adjustments will get you where you need to be. Uh, don't you know? Don't do anything crazy. If you don't know what you're doing, take your bow to a professional and have them do it for you. Uh, which is why I'm going to be taking mine to a professional to have it paper tuned and. And 100% sighted in. Like I said, I just wanted to get on to target. Uh, I'm by no means a professional at, at tuning in bows, but I do know a little bit about it. So we've got it here to this point, and then we'll let the store take care of the rest of it. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and we're going to just shoot a little bit more, and then we're headed up to the hunting grounds to try and uh, locate, locate some coyote. And then tomorrow we're going to be going on a coyote hunt. So hopefully we get something tomorrow and uh, that'll make a pretty awesome video. For Thursday, uh, come back and check us out then at 6 p.m. Thursday. Thanks for everything, guys. Thanks for the views, the subscribes. Like comments, and blah, 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 blah. Bye.